You, YouTube, YouTube. What's good with y'all? It's your boy Peeps. Back with another banger video. Bringing y'all the latest and greatest of news. And a lot of people are saying, man, that this MK1 is going to be the best MK ever released. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. So look, uh, Ed Boon, your boy, dropped a new trailer, right? And the MK trailer, it's got like a little, it's got a little 90s vibe to it, man. I'm, I'm feeling it, you know. Uh, you know, back in the day, in the early 2000s, when they had them little old commercials for games and stuff, man, you know, where they had, like, uh, actors and people just basically, like, playing the game or, like, just doing crazy stuff, crazy animations that, like, went with the game. They brought that back, and I gotta say, man, the trailer's pretty impressive, man. You know, it's got a new feel to it. You know, it's nothing like crazy digital. To, it's not digitized, you know, like how most people do with their trailers nowadays. And, you know, it kind of just, you know, it brought us back to the past. So I, I really like the trailer, bro. It was really interesting. And, you know, it was a vibe. So, look, talk about gameplay, y'all. I got a little treat for y'all. So, look, got information on basically what direction they are going to go as far as gameplay you feel me so look from what i'm seeing so far and uh from what i've seen in the beta uh they're really trying to cater towards old and newer players so what i'm what i'm getting at is you know they're trying to get older players to basically come back to the game but they're also catering towards newer players so like making like combo strings a little bit easier to use uh, better animations, smoother animations, you know, and you know, just trying to bring more and more people into the MK community, man. Let me know how y'all feel about that as well, bro. Because the beta so far, you know, from what I played, it was clean, you know. It got it gave a little feel to, you know, uh, if you're brand new to the game, you know, you could put about like about an hour in, and you, you basically know what you were doing, you know what I mean? You know, giving it uh, an arcadey type of feel to it, you know. How back in the day where you like it was kind of like pick up and play it's kind of the same way now you feel me you know and if you just raw at it you raw at it you feel me another thing y'all um going back to the trailer uh it was a lot of people you know going in if you haven't seen the trailer already but it was a lot of people just going around screaming mortal combat and you know people was getting superpowers and all that crazy stuff man you know there's a lady doing pottery she was she saw, you know, all the craziness going on outside. Blew her dog on wig back, bro. It was crazy. So, look. Also, you guys. There's still no new news on the last player on the MK roster. So, look. A couple of me and the boys, we was theorizing, right? It was like, what if the last character on the roster actually isn't going to be revealed? Isn't going to have a trailer or anything like that? but instead is going to be the big bad inside of the game now look we got shang Tsung. don't get me wrong and shang Tsung was teased in the very beginning of the game right but i do not think that shang Tsung is the big bad inside this game you guys uh i think it's going to be another big bad character that we don't know about that may or may not be new who knows but that character or big bad character or the big boss might actually be playable in the game and that might end up being the last character slot so we won't know until we beat like the storyline or we beat the whole campaign of the game to actually find out who that character actually is but y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that theory because you know could i be way off maybe i don't know maybe they you know Maybe they got something saved up. Maybe it might be uh, the girl Natara, the vampire chick. We, we never know, man. We, we don't know until we know, you feel me? Um, unless they release, you know, screenshots or they release some type of leak. Everything right now is just theorized. Everything right now is just speculation as of right now, y'all. And look, back to the trailer. Everybody's been talking about Shang Tsung, bro, at the end of the trailer, man. We haven't gotten any gameplay of him yet, though. 
Y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all think this is overhyped or not. Because me personally, I think it's overhyped. Uh, until we actually see Shang Tsung gameplay, man, I am not getting excited. You feel me? I got to see some gameplay, y'all. But that's all I got for this video, man. Y'all let me know in the comments down below what y'all think, man. Uh, are we going to get a uh, big bad to be able to play like we did in the previous MKs? You know, at MK11, um, MKX, we was able to basically uh, unlock characters inside the story. Like, we was able to unlock Frost inside the story. Um, at MK11, and at MKX, we was actually able to play a Shinnok when you beat the game. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Y'all go ahead and y'all theorize, man. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch and I'm going to listen to see what we got going on, you guys. But that's all I got for this one, man. This your boy Peeps. And I'm out.